Alright, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and we're at Days of the Dead, Los Angeles. And guess what? I've got a couple of guys here from Pulp Fiction. Ah, what do we have here? Uh, I'm, I'm Phil Lamar. Oh, Phil, nice to meet you, nice Phil. Nice to meet you. And Steve Hibbert. I, Steve uh, Hibbert. You may not recognize me. I played the Gimp. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or so he claims. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't prove it. <laughs> hey. That's how I got him free. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Yeah, glad to see you out of that uh, that form-fitting outfit. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was very, it was very constricting. Must have been warm. <laughs> yeah, in very the dictionary, warm. underwarm. Is, uh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's funny. Phil was around. I was around. Yeah. I did not wear the suit. But how did you? Like, I know you more from like animated stuff. How did you? <laughs> how did you get? Uh, How'd you get that gig from Pulp Fiction? Um, well, actually, it's funny because I did Pulp Fiction long before I did uh, most the animated, of the animated stuff. Um, uh, actually, uh, how did I get it? I, I had done an improv show at the Groundlings where Steve and I were both members of the, the Groundlings um, with uh, Quentin Tarantino, and I met him. Yes, that night. Yeah, yep. met him doing uh, the Gap, the Cooking with Gas show. Yeah, that's oh, right. Well, so thank for thank you for bringing your friend to do the show. When so from there he had us go in and audition for our respective roles. Right, right. Oh, oh man. Like any, uh, any references working with Quentin? <laughs> well, you guys hung out. For yeah, we hung fiction. out a little bit. We were pals at the time yeah. and, uh, and we were still acquaintances, but uh, he called me and said, do you want to come and audition for this role of the Gimp? And I, I knew about the role at that point. And I just oh, wanted geez, to go... Oh, thanks. <laughs> I just wanted to go... <laughs> we <were> friends. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Careful who you pick as friends. Yeah. But I wanted, I, I wanted to go just to see what auditioning for the Gimp would be like. Yeah, so me we, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, Did he have you do a monologue? <laughs> he had, no, he did a psychodrama <laughs> where he was my master. Oh. And I was his little slave. Oh my god. And we did a little psychodrama for the producer and the casting Very director. Nice. And this is back in the old days when you had answering machines. By the time I got home that afternoon, he would say, hey, you got the part, way to go. And so, oh. oh, see, so yeah. you, you had the, uh, the fast oh, track. Yeah. I had to audition doing the um, Jules and Brett scene, which, oh, okay. was, which was so much fun. Yeah. But I, I did, right. read that scene with Quentin. Um, I was reading the part of Jules, Sam Jackson's part. He was reading Frank's <laughs> part. Uh, yeah. and, and I honestly, for a second thought, Maybe they're considering me for jewels. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm a little short for better. I can wear boots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and, but it was three months before I heard. Really? Yes. Wow. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because I was used to TV, which moves much faster. I'm like, oh, well, I guess they moved on. Apparently they can see his acting chops through that mask. <laughs> yeah. It was evident in that mask that you were the one. You were the gimp. Yeah. Yeah. I had the gimp thing down. Wow. And, and so you, you guys both worked in, in uh, animation. That's right. Yeah. You're, you're I, I wrote writers? on the writing side. Yeah, I wrote right. for Tiny Toons Adventures and Animaniacs way back in the day. Oh. The height of With Warner Slappy Brothers. Squirrel and all that I, stuff. Yeah. I love Animaniacs. Yay, That's fun you. stuff. Yeah, it was fun. Oh. So you're doing more, more uh, then you moved into acting? Moved into acting. I still do a bit of writing. And okay. I'll flick wherever they're willing to pay me. I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> right? yeah. Very good. Well, Very and you good. also wrote on Mad TV where yeah, we yeah, both worked we together. Yeah, we worked together on Mad TV as well. Nice. And then, and then, okay, how did you get into like voice acting? Well, actually, I did a job in my teens on the Mr. T cartoon, but that was really more of a summer job than anything else. Okay. I, it was really mad TV. I was a Jack in the Box. That's <laughs> exactly. Wow. It was a great summer That's job. That's why you got the gift. <laughs> Jack in the Box. Because you can't understand those guys yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but no, on Mad TV we did those um, uh, claymation pieces, yeah, yeah. and that's where I really got my, uh, you know, mic time in, and I learned to like, oh, I can translate this Groundlings character work into just doing voice stuff. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, you already said I love the Animaniacs, but you're in Samurai Jack. You were Samurai Jack. <laughs> I am the Samurai. Well, just his voice. And he didn't oh. talk much, so I can't yeah, take yeah. that much credit L for this. A lot of grunts and... Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. Thank that you. was an awesome cartoon. A work of art, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a work of art. Yeah. And I hear you're a Star Trek fan. Um, well, actually, I thought I was until I worked on a movie called Free Enterprise. All right. Um, which was about 
real Star Trek like, fans. Trekkie and then I realized, like, oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. not. <laughs> I thought I was a geek. <laughs> this is the deep geekery. You know, uh, yeah, um, Robert Burnett and Mark Altman. The references in the script were so deep, they had to give each of us in, uh, in the like cast kind of, yeah. tapes. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is the reference to the episode of Star Trek where, you know, this is the song these space hippies sing. Like, oh, okay, did not know that. <laughs> So yes, I, I, from then on, I no longer claim to be a Star Trek fan. You're in Justice League too. Yes, oh, man. that's right. John Stewart, Green Lantern of Sector Two Eight One Four. Look at this fate right now. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. My nerdy little self is like. <sighs> so, do you think we'll ever see a, a John Stewart Green Lantern movie? I don't know. I've always felt that uh, Dennis Haysbert would be a perfect John Stewart. Really? I mean, because he looks so big. He's already got that voice, you know. But right. I don't know. You I think we're, we're closer now. What's that? You wouldn't play it yourself? Uh, I don't. I think that would. Although <laughs> nowadays, with the advances in CG uh, right. technology, I could just like. Yeah, just, just the whole yes, yeah. Exactly, just make me 6'3", uh, 250, <laughs> and ripped. Oh, you get the rip. So what do, you guys, what do you guys got going now? What are you guys working on now? Well, right now we're here at Days of the Dead in Los Angeles uh, with a, a bevy of Pulp Fictionary. Yes. Yeah. Signing autographs, meeting yes. fans, having fun. And, and how's your, really having fun. How's it's your con so far? Really fun. They're lovely people, and it's fascinating to meet other people who are doing stuff here. And what's yeah. the What's the best thing a fan has had you sign? Well, I have like a gimp action figure. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, they I have those. Finally, finally there's made. a <laughs> wait, 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 not wait. for children. There's yes. a There's a gimp action figure. May I show it to you? Please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of What kind of accessories does the gimp? <laughs> come with? You don't want to know. <laughs> no, you do not want to know. Accessory free. Oh. There you go. Oh wow. Oh, all that all of the accessories yeah. are not visible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a puppet show. Please. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> wow. Can't take so, you anywhere. So's Avenue <laughs> Avenue G. Wait, <laughs> Avenue Q. 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 Yeah. Sorry, I, 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 I didn't learn the whole alphabet. I'm an actor. <laughs> you worked with the Muppets recently? Yes, yes, I did. Wow. Uh, I was Miss Piggy's doctor. All right. <laughs> Was she a difficult patient? She was very difficult. Like, wow. You cannot wear false eyelashes in surgery. That was wow. Yeah. How was it? Uh, how was she work? How was she to work with? A total diva. No, actually, she was great. <laughs> getting all the getting all the dirt right here. <laughs> how was Kermit? Like it? Uh, Kermit was great. Yeah. You got to meet him. Yes. Yes. I I am so jealous. <laughs> yeah. This one. The one over here hangs out with Quentin Tarantino, and this one hangs out with Kermit and Miss Piggy. Wow. Jeez, you guys are living the life. <laughs> life of Riley. There it is. Man. Oh, now that's a very old reference. You're, yeah. you're dating yourself, Blake. I'm, I'm a very old vampire. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Oh, sorry, sorry. Just, I saw that neck right there, and you know, <laughs> I thought it was an invite. Hey, I, I played Dracula once. In a, the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, my Dracula sounded like Red Fox. <laughs> Dracula don't suck. Dracula bite, then lick. Dracula. Yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's funny. <laughs> okay, what's what's harder to do, like a like a live action movie or or a, some sort of an animated film? Live action. Yeah. Because you have to get dressed for that. Yeah. <laughs> For voiceover, yeah. yeah. You can literally go in yeah. your pajama bottoms exactly. and sweatshirt and you'll be good. Well, we know what you dress like for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. That was a rental. That was a, oh, right. You didn't supply your own wardrobe. No, that was not part of the game. <laughs> That's why Quentin wanted you, right? No. He knew you. He's like, he fit the suit. <laughs> he it's has like the simple. suit. Yes. Wow. Well, you guys are too much fun. God. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you for having us. Well, thanks Thank for talking you. to us. Oh, I hope yeah. hurt. Enjoy the rest of your con. All right, thanks, back at you. Thanks, well, this is Flick for the Nerd Soapbox at Days of the Dead, Los Angeles. Let's see who else we can haunt. <laughs>
Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and welcome to our first annual uh, Nerd Soapbox Celebrity Panel. Yes, so uh, we've got microphones on uh, either side of the room here for uh, questions, and we'll be starting. Uh, go ahead and line up there. Uh, uh, questions, anybody? Hello? 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 Anyone? That's it, I'm out of here.